Hi there. I'm Susie from Addie King Loomers and Knits. Today we're doing the second part of our loom knitted uh, newsboy hat. We did the visor in part one, which we loom knitted on the 48 peg adult hat loom that uh, is discontinued. But I want to point out something. You still can make this hat if you don't have a KK loom that is very hard to find. I received this this week. It's the Cindy Wood version of the adult hat loom. And I must say I really am pleased with it because uh, the pegs seem to have a little bit of a, a spring to it. They're not as rigid as the KK. And so that tells me that it will be less of a problem in breakage. So there's less chance of, of, a, of a peg breaking. And I use this to make the visor that we're putting on to the machine today. Okay, now where we left off, you had completed the visor on the adult hat loom. And you would cast off on waste yarn, or you can do what I did here, and, and I just string uh, a contrast yarn, which is white here, onto the, ha the brim uh, so I can pick up the stitches. Uh, one difference. I decided to do a little bear bit of experiment. Uh, in our original pattern, we do an e-wrap, or a counter e-wrap, I should say, and, um, and a purl stitch, which I will show you. This is a loom, all loom hat, okay? It's made out of three strands, three different yarns in this one. I believe there's a Red Heart Comfort, um and two boucles in there, I'm not sure, but because I did this a while ago. Um, what I did, I also made a band that I attached to the hat, and I have two buttons. I'll zoom out here a little bit so you can see. Okay. And it worked out very well. Okay, so that's all loomed, okay? Gives you an idea on how to finish your hat. So those of you who, who did loom it, that's what it would look like if you just gathered the, uh, the end there. There's no fancy decrease in this one. It's just been pulled together. Okay, so that's all loomed. The second one I'm going to show you, I made on the Addy. Now, of course, I loom knitted the brim, and I used, I uh, believe, huh, I used only one strand to make this. So it gives you an idea, if you only use one strand, how it will look like. Okay, same version, the loom knitted brim, transferred onto the Addy, continued, I just, I decreased on this one on circular needles, which I'll give you the pattern for. That makes a nice finishing on the back of the hat. Now this is for a child size, and as we know, on the Addy, uh, the size of the hat goes with how much you, how many rows you do, basically. But the one that I have on here today is a little bit different. And I'm going to explain that. Okay, so here is my visor. It looks a little bit different because someone on our site asked me a question. Have I ever tried 
to do the flat stitch. And I decided I'd give it a try. And you know something? I really like it. It's not a big, bold garter stitch. It's, as you can see, it's flat, and I guess that's why it's called flat stitch. It has the crochet cast on. Okay? And when I was finished, I just continued and made a band all the way around and that's the size band I made on this one. It's a little wider than I normally do but I found with a flat stitch it's like smaller stitches so I wanted something a little more pronounced but it gives a good edge same tapering it's not square and right now I'm going to show you how to put on your brim okay it's really simple because it's the same concept as you did on the brim hat when you turned it and put it on the needles same same idea so I already started a little bit what you would start uh, with your last stitch or your first stitch I guess it would be uh, that you had on your your loom and it always leaves a little bit of a seam as you know hopefully it's not that noticeable but sometimes it is with this stitch I find it does show a little bit more but say la vie okay so as the the same concept as the turned up brim that I showed you when we put on our visor onto the Addy we knit as we go okay same same thing so we're putting the stitch on the needle and knitting as we go now in my visor I used three strands of yarn and to do the rest of the hat I've decided I'm going to use two strands so you would cut off one strand if you're going to do it that way or if you're only going to use one strand you can do it that way too I mean it really depends on what you want to do there is no wrong way you could do as you want I mean uh, there's many stitches that you can try out in making this visor same concept just follow the decreasing or the increasing I should say as you as you make the the visor um, oh yeah, and another thing with flat stitch that I did, I guess I should add that as well. I, instead of making four stitches of increase on each side, I added one on each side. So, in other words, I have five increase stitches on both sides and the 16 in the, the middle, like, is in the original pattern. So you would have, you would start on the, on the sixth peg and count 16 and so you would increase five going back and forth uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about go to part one you'll be guided along in how to do it like I said instead of using the e-wrap I did the flat stitch on this one but it's the same same visor except for a different stitch okay and an added stitch um, for the the brim okay we will still have the same amount of stitches don't get me wrong um, you will have one uh, okay you will have because there's 48 right and the Addy is 46 so as you put on your brim, you will have two extra stitches. So try and uh, even that out. Like, it won't show. You just will double on both sides. And I would say um, if you're starting on one as the first needle that you're putting on your brim, uh, you would go halfway around on this side and halfway around on the other side and double it up so it's on the needle okay that's the best suggestion I, I could give you but you know as long as it's done 
somewhere around there. Okay, uh, it should be just fine. Okay, because you know it's only the first time. It's just the first row is always the most difficult because you have to put on your stitches and of course if you're dealing with three strands it's going to be thicker right so we're going to do it slow and knit as we go so I've already done three I'm on the third here and I just put my fourth there so I'm knitting that one okay now because I used a contrast yarn I can see my next stitch right so my next stitch would be this one so I would take that stitch the three strands and I would put that on my next needle the thicker your yarn is of course the more of a pull it's going to give you so you just have to be a little patient on the first row it's a slow process but that's how you do it um, just like I said it's the same idea as the brim hat that I showed you and where we take the, bo the bottom stitch and put it over the top to fold over only this one we're just putting the stitches from something that's already been done on the loom and adding it onto the Addy. It's a, see, it's, it's as simple as that. Uh, actually, you probably could do the same method as this uh, for just about anything that you want to transfer. If you want to start um, something on knitting needles and you want to you want to uh, oops okay you want to start on knitting needles and you want to transfer it onto the Addy, you can do the same, same thing. You just add it to the needles. If you have more than 48, well, you have to compensate, right? Uh, I wouldn't say that you should have a lot more than 48. Um, one or two stitches, it won't make a difference on the first row. Okay. Now I'm using this red needle because I find that it's easier for me to use this because my yarn is quite thick okay and it's easier for me to pick up okay so you would do all this all the way around like I said I'm going to just give you the idea and you can go ahead on your own otherwise you'd be sitting here waiting for me to do the whole thing and that could be taking you a little bit of time to, to watch me, so this is it. You just put them back on. If you only had your brim as two uh, stitches, you'll, you won't have such a hard time putting them on, of course. If you continue going around and then you make your hat, like I said, as you're putting them on, you you knit as you go uh, and halfway around the loom you will put two stitches on the same needle yes it'll be thick but it's doable it's just you have to make sure you're you know put that that uh, yarn underneath the red tab and this will go down on its own Okay, so, so I would suggest you do that, two on each side, one time on each side, okay, and keep going around to the amount of stitches that you want for the size of the hat that you want, okay, um, same concept as any hat you make on Addy for, especially for a brim. Depending on the yarn, I can't tell you how many rows. So, I would uh, I would suggest measure your the head you want to make it for, and make it like that. Now you can make a drawstring bind off like normal, or you can. I have a little 
uh, suggestion here if you want to do a decrease. Okay, in my Addie King Newsboy hat pattern I have on Ravelry, and I'll put the link below if you are interested in getting it. Um, I have the following pattern in the back. This is an illustrated pattern. It shows you step by step how to, how to do this hat. Okay, it tells you uh, so you put two stitches on your Addy needle, one extra on each side of the Addy, like I told you. Okay. Um, okay. For a decrease bind off, instead of the drawstring, you can transfer your stitches onto a circular needle or end with waist yarn and then put it on a circular needle, whichever easiest for you, okay? Uh, I did for just a single strand um, hat that I was doing, I knitted on the Addy for about 26 rows. I believe that was for a smaller, small to medium head. Depends on the size of the head. Okay, then I transferred the stitches back onto a circular needle. And then I did a decrease bind off. And because you have 46 stitches, this is how I did it. You would knit three on your on your circular needles, okay? Knit three, knit two together, and you do that all the way around. Then the last stitch, you would decrease one. If you're not, a f if you're if you're familiar in how to knit, you shouldn't have a problem in this. Okay, so I'll repeat: knit three, knit two together, all around. The last stitch, you decrease one more time. In the second row, you would just knit. Then the third row, you knit, knit two, knit two together, and you continue all, around, all the way around. Then the next row, you do knit one, knit two together, all around. Then you knit two together, all the way around. And then draw string the, the rest of the, the remaining loops. Um, there's only a few left at that point. And then you basically weave in your ends. If, uh, if you're not familiar on how to decrease from 46 stitches, you can also go on Google and just type in decreasing at 46 stitches. And I'm sure it, something will pop up to show you exactly how to decrease with those amount of stitches. So that's a, that is a suggestion. Okay, now making that band that I showed you, okay, all right, so this band, all right, if I can well, unzoom a bit here, okay, all right, it's hard to see the band because of the contrast, eh? Okay, so this band is quite simple to do. I did it on knitting needles, I believe, but you can do this on a loom or whatever method that you want to do. Okay. Um on the on the 48 peg loom, you would just e-wrap three stitches uh two times and knit off. Then the next row, you would purl. Then the next row, you would knit and you continue to the desired length you want for your hat and then you would sew a button on each side or whatever you want to use a buckle or use your imagination I mean there's many many ways of of doing this I mean there's no wrong way this is where you express yourself I got these cute little buttons 
Um, the purple, well, I guess it would look okay on the purple, but just wouldn't stand out as much as I would like. These are apples with the green on it, and the other ones are ladybugs. Okay, probably green, that would be nice for those. But that's another idea that you can use on each side of your hat. And that's it. I hope this video has given you a, a better understanding. So, hopefully you understand how to put your, your uh, stitches on. I mean, I showed that clearly how to do that on the other video on the brim hat. So just follow that same concept and put the stitches on and all the way around. And you can finish off your, your visor hat. And when I'm finished myself, I will post mine and I would like to see yours as well. Um, post them on the group site or on Google Plus if you're on my circles. I'll be able to see you, your project. Other than that, if you have any suggestions and what you would like to see, um, I'm asking that question on the group site on Addie King Loomers and Knits on Facebook. Um, I have the link below as well for our group for those who don't know who we are. Uh, I do have videos uh, in my playlist of uh, a few things that are very helpful for the Addie machines. Um, I have a few suggestions uh, in my future videos that I'm looking at. Uh, increasing. I don't think too many people have a problem with that, but I'll do a short little uh, video on that. Uh, intarsia. I've been asked to do intarsia. Kate Winslow did one. She's the um, the lady who uh, uh, that has a nice little video on intarsia and I'd like to give that a try. I haven't done that yet so that should be interesting. Oh yes, the jogging stitch. Now the jogging stitch you know when you're you're adding a a different color on your hat where it has that little do I have one here? I have all solids right now. When you are making a striped hat and it always shows that color, that different color sort of drops a bit. So it, it shows the join. You know, they're, they're not even. Well, the jogging stitch uh, in knitting, there is a, a way of remedying that where you take the bottom stitch and putting uh, it on the upper stitch and knitting over. And I like to give that a shot on the Addy, so I want to do a video on that. Stopper. Oh, yes. Stopper versus no stopper. I prefer no stopper myself. Um, the stoppers are what come with the Addy machine. To me, you don't need the stopper if you're looking at your your last stitch. Say this is your your last stitch knitted, right? Okay, and you want to go back. Well, it would be the red knob that's next to the last stitch that is knitted that you have to go past, just just over that, and then you can go back, okay? Uh, the stopper you put on the third, um, the third empty one, and it acts like a black needle in flat panel. Use those when you're doing less uh, amount of stitches than 48 for a flat panel. Uh, I'll do one of those just to, to show. I've been asked to do a maintenance video. Um, some people have problems with squeaking. I suggested to uh, basically, first of all, you clean out your machine with using maybe compressed air to start with blow all that lint that the acrylic leaves behind because this acrylic it's got the fine fibers that float right and they get inside the machine and sometimes it it clogs it up so if you undo your screws lift this up um, and then 
just give the the compressed air a shot to to get out all that fluff if you will out of there also um, your handle I don't know if I can get it here um, okay your handle in the gears okay all right let's see I'm not really prepared to do all this but I'll give it a shot right now okay let's get close in a bit a little bit okay all right so what I do is I get a can of silicone spray do not use anything that has a petroleum base in it because if you do that you'll have a problem um where is it here we go all right silicone lubricant this one okay now if you're going to use this this one is safe for plastic do not use anything that is not recommended for plastic because if you do, then you're going to gum up your machine, you're going to have a corrosion of uh, melting your, your plastic. You don't want that. So this stuff is good. What I do is this can comes with a straw, okay? I put the straw in that hole and what I would do is I would spray in with the, that little straw in the edges here just a little bit not much you don't need a lot okay and then I would turn it so it would get inside that's one suggestion um, if you're finding that the squeaking is coming from inside here the same method as you would for um, changing a needle where you take your little black um, inside out, okay? Um, you might lightly spray, lightly spray. And when I say lightly, I mean really lightly, because if you put too much in there, you're not gonna like what it does to your yarn. So if you, if you wanna go that route, um, myself, I found it's helped. It takes away the squeak. And it's usually because of the, the different type of yarn that you're using that that squeak does happen. So those are a few suggestions. But as I said, I'll get into that if I do a maintenance video. And one other thing. Um, in machine flatbed machines, we use an I-cord. Okay? And I like to try to use that I-cord with the Addy machine. Don't know if it's possible, but I like to do it because that would save you from using waste yarn all the time. So those are a few suggestions that I'd like to do in future videos. Like I said, if you have any other ideas you'd like to see, if I can do them, I will. I'm learning too, so I can do what I, I can learn, <laughs> just like everybody else. So you take care of yourself and... Be sure to check in on us at Addy King Loomers and Knits. Um, we have a great inspirational group there, and there's lots of help from a lot of people who are more experienced than I am, actually. So uh, give us a give us a look, see, and we have a library there of many patterns from knitting, crocheting, nooking, uh, flatbed machines, uh, USM. You name it, we have it. Lots of looming. Um, it is a real library. So it's a, a real good place to check out for patterns instead of searching all over the internet. Uh, be sure you give me a like and subscribe to my channel, please. That way you'll be able to be informed every time I upload a video. So thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.